Hey, it's Perry Lau here from PurposeStreamMaster.com and today I'm going to talk about feminine attraction. As man, I have both masculine and feminine energy, but with more masculine energy, I'm naturally attracted to things and people of feminine energy. This includes Mother Nature, invigorating music, playful dance, and of course, beautiful women. I see them every day in my daily interactions whether it's going to the gym, the grocery store, or our local meetup group. Just because I'm attracted to them doesn't mean I have to express that through touch or even a sexual act. I can simply enjoy their feminine radiance by being around their presence. Simply breathing in their feminine radiance gives me energy. I don't really have to look or initiate conversation with them. Just being around them is enough. Because I value my relationship with my woman, I don't want to do anything to jeopardize what we have. The attraction to the feminine is natural. Whether I act on that impulse is a different subject. Now, although my woman is important to me, I don't make her my first priority. That's because the most important thing to me is my purpose. That's the thing that gives me drive and direction. Although she's not my highest priority, she's still important to me. That's why I make time to further deepen our relationship. Deep down, she doesn't want me to make her the most important thing as well. She doesn't want to be responsible for my happiness. This way, she doesn't have that pressure. That doesn't mean she can't add joy to my life. Absolutely, she does. She challenges me to be a better man. She gives me support and love, and we add to each other's life. When she's in need of decision, I give that to her, while valuing her opinion as well. For example, she asks, what dress should I wear? I just give her my honest opinion. And at the end, I say, whatever you decide, it's fine with me, and I still love you. That way, she could have something to base off of. That's because a feminine does not want to be forced to make decisions. She wants to feel your masculine penetrate her. This is equivalent to her coming up to you and giving you a playful kiss after a long day of work. You wouldn't be as attractive if you had to ask her to do that. This is more appealing if she initiated that on her own. As men, we are responsible for growing the relationship. That's not to say she can't help us, but the main responsibility falls on us. We have to be proactive in learning new things to develop our connection. We might be reading books about female psychology, coming up with new date ideas to make the intimacy more interesting. This will benefit you in the long run. When you could help the relationship mature, you both grow together and makes you stronger. You want to take on the masculine role and lead the relationship. And she wants to follow your lead. She wants to relax and surrender to your command. She trusts you knowing that you have everything taken care of. Your masculinity is in search of freedom and direction, whereas her feminine is governed by love. But they're both the same. However, the journey of getting there is very different. You complement each other, and it's because the difference in polarity that creates attraction. This is why you don't find men attractive, and vice versa, why most women don't find other women attractive as well. When you step into your masculine, you will ignite her feminine. And you can inspire confidence, knowing that you make her feel safe, comfortable, and trust it. If you have any questions about feminine attraction, please leave a comment below, and I love being with you all. Till next time, bye.